Ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn ready because you're about to go back about 5,000 years in time with us. Be sure to subscribe, that's the only way that you can help our channel. So, let's get into it. We live in Giza. My home in the other place, other Egypt. You know Luxor in Africa? Yeah. I live in Luxor. You live in Luxor? But I'm staying in Giza here, I'm work. You work in Giza? Yeah, my family over in there. In uh, yeah. Luxor? Luxor, yeah. Luxor. Building during a time when Egypt was one of the richest and most powerful civilizations in the world, the pyramids, especially the Great Pyramids of Giza, are some of the most magnificent man-made structure in the history. Their massive scale reflects the unique role that the pharaoh, or king, played in the ancient Egyptian society. The peak of pyramid building began with the late Third Dynasty, and continued until roughly the 6th dynasty, which is about 2325 before Christ. More than 4000 years ago, the Egyptian pyramids still retain much of their majesty, provide a glimpse into the country's rich and glorious past. Now moving on to the Great Sphinx, which is one of the world's largest monuments. The Great Sphinx of Giza is a giant 4,000 and a half year old limestone statue situated near the Great Pyramids of Giza, measuring about 73 meters long and 20 meters high. The Sphinx is the fusion of a lion, the hair of a woman, and the head of a man, which in this case is Pharaoh Khafre, whom had built the second tallest pyramid in Egypt. The king's head is on a smaller scale than the body. This appears to have been due to a defect in the stone, a weakness recognized by the sculptures, who compensated by enlonging the body. King Khafre's rulership lasted about 66 years. Some cool facts about the pyramids. The pyramids were built by paid workers, not slaves. Bricks that weighted more than an elephant. The pyramids were once glittering. The pyramids are precisely aligned to the true north. They were built to escort pharaohs into afterlife. The pyramid of Khafre looks bigger than the pyramid of Khufu. It took almost 23 years to complete a pyramid. Some researchers allege that it took as much as 30 years. If the pyramids were to be built today, there is an estimate that it would cost a whopping 1.2 billion. But in reality, no one really knows who built it. Did aliens build the pyramids? Or other civilizations? Are they hiding advanced technology? Perhaps the Illuminates built the pyramids. Who knows? But if you know it, comment down below and let me know who do you think built the pyramids and if you have any theories about it. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very good experience. Yeah. 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 So many camels. Oh, 
Para. Oh. Now she go there, take your good photo, and then come back to me here. Okay. I hope you made him proud and you didn't disappoint him. Worth mentioning that during the day at the pyramids there will be a lot, a lot, a lot of people offering you camera rides, horse rides, horse and carriage rides, all types of rides and on top of that there will be people trying to sell you headscarf, t-shirts, magnets, uh, anything that can possibly be sold they're gonna try to sell you. So just be polite and deny if you don't want. Be aware of scammers and always ask the price up front and negotiate before you get on a 2 meters high camel. Look how big. No ass. Chega pelas 8 e 9 da manhã que é o melhor horário. Isso nem André. Oh yeah, it's getting crazy or what? That 50 group, 50 people at once like. They're all running they, like desperate, no? They invaded the place for a picture. <laughs> to the best spot to take picture with the Sphinx. Yeah. And you were unlucky. I couldn't take a picture. They just... What can I do? It's okay. Horse shit. Thank you. Another one? No, no. Look at No, we did already. Have a good day. Thank you. Nossa, o camelo deve ter uns 2 metros. Dos dois metros de altura. Não, lá. Lá, lá, chucra. Lá, lá, chucra. é a maior pirâmide aqui. Essa aqui da direita. E as menorzinhas, assim, que estão meio destruídas já, eram as das, das filhas, né? Do farol. They are not actually hustling that much. Because it's busy. It's very busy. <laughs> very busy, yeah. yeah. Deserto, ó. Naquela área. Tem camelos que te levam lá do panorama até o meio. Mas por fazer já negocie com o preço e não, não, não suba e tal. Negociei o preço certo antes. De começar o passeio, porque se não chegar lá os caras vão querer te turquia até o máximo que der. Então é aqui a visão das três pirâmides. Essa aqui é a do pai, do filho e aquela lá é do neto. Let's go, girl! E hoje é feriado aqui no Egito, então tá cheio de escola, cheio de família, a maioria das pessoas é egípcio aqui, não tem muito turista. Não, thank you. I hope later you change your mind. Maybe later, yeah. If you decide later, man, my name's Sarah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And was here that we encountered the most famous horse rider at the pyramids, which is the one in Kurtzka's video. 
In YouTube, yeah. Yeah, I saw you in YouTube, yeah. With Kurt, yeah. <laughs> a year ago, Kurt Skas took a horse ride with him around the pyramids for only four dollars as the man was so honest and straightforward and didn't try to scam Kurt. Kurt ended up giving him a very generous tip at the end and Saeed got to take a day off and spend with his family. But that's something for the next video. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. And if you're here until the end, you might as well leave a like to help us grow this channel.